Making up only about 2% of the entire population, the INTJ personality type happens to be extremely rare, and this is probably why it can be so hard for others to be friends with them. Due to being extremely reserved, sensitive, and thoughtful, the INTJ personality type might not be able to tell you what they need in a friendship. INTJs have a reputation for being intellectual and aloof loners, although like with many cliches, this isn't entirely accurate. Friendship is important to INTJs, and they do make amazing friends. They are just on the lookout for and absolutely need very specific things. Make sure to watch to the end of the video because the top 3 might really surprise you and let me know what you think of these 9 unique things every INTJ needs in a friendship. Let's get into it. Welcome to Success for Breakfast where I'm serving up brain food made simple. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos created to give you the tools to level up your life. Starting things off in number 9 today is INTJs need you to be direct about your emotions. If you are intending to be friends with this personality type, make sure you understand one thing. They don't believe in playing games. They don't believe in beating around the bush. This personality type believes in direct communication regarding your feelings. They consider it one of the most important factors of a friendship. If anything about them hurts you, they expect you to come up and discuss it like an adult. No, they don't care if you have been quiet for a week and they will not notice your subtle signs. They will care if you talk about your feelings with them directly, so make sure you are confident and brave enough to talk about what goes on in your head and what you're thinking. Next up in number 8 is INTJs need personal space. If you're trying to be friends with an INTJ, make sure you remember that the I in INTJ stands for introvert. One of the biggest reasons why friendships don't work is because people don't understand each other. They do not realize that their friends aren't comfortable with a certain aspect. This is why, to be friends with an INTJ, make sure you keep in mind that you shouldn't disturb their personal space. If you are going to make plans, make sure that they involve something relaxing or quiet instead of something like a nightclub for instance. They will not vocally tell you that they hate your plan, they'll probably just sulk and be frustrated on the inside. The INTJ personality type loves their personal space more than their friends do typically, so make sure that you are not too clingy and that you don't poke your nose in every single matter. The number 7 thing every INTJ needs in a friendship is patience. People are not easily trusted by INTJs. They need someone who will stick around, who will not be offended if the INTJ wants to argue or debate with them and who will organize get-togethers that will allow the INTJ to get to know that person. One of the most important things required when you are willing to befriend an INTJ is patience. Remember that every friendship means that your boundaries will be tested. Every friendship means that your anger might be tested as well, and if the friendship is worth it, then you will put up with it. Due to their extremely reserved nature, this personality type is used to keeping their matters to themselves and it takes them a lot of time to communicate and trust other people. So remember that when an INTJ trusts you, it's a reward for your patience. Next up in number 6 today is INTJs need intellectual engagement. If you are the type of person who loves gossiping and wasting time and doing pretty much nothing, then I suggest you do not try to befriend this personality type. An INTJ is known to have a deep interest in intellectual and logical matters. So remember that the only way to keep your friendship alive, or the most important way to keep your friendship alive, is to engage in intellectual debates. Instead of gossiping about who was wearing what or the latest episode of whatever reality show, INTJs prefer debating about things like politics, philosophy, and psychology. Remember that an INTJ is more impressed by your intellect rather than your sass. Starting our top 5 today is INTJs need direct inclusion. Yes, this personality type can be funny like that. If you're making a plan, make sure that you ask them separately and make sure that they know what they are being asked to go do. If you have an INTJ friend, don't assume they don't want to be part of something. Invite them and give them the option of staying or going. They may decline you but don't make them feel bad if they do and keep asking. INTJs need to know you want to spend time with them. 
and they will enjoy it if you continue offering to involve them. They will make time for their friends, and it may surprise you with how frequently they accept your invites. So make sure that you include them in every surprise birthday party, surprises in general, plan for an outing, or get together. If you've gotten some value from this video so far, please show your appreciation and hit that like button. That signals YouTube that you think other people could benefit from this video too. Number four on today's list is INTJs need understanding. As I mentioned earlier, this personality type takes its time in opening up to people and being vulnerable in front of them. So remember that you have to be extremely understanding when you are stepping in. You have to observe their actions and how little things affect them. They will never directly tell you how that one time you did something and it bothered them. You will have to be very thoughtful about everything. They also require people who will attempt to see things from the INTJ's point of view. Someone who truly listens to the INTJ, tries to understand them, and asks pertinent questions to clarify their point of view is priceless to an INTJ. Kicking off the top three today is INTJs need encouragement. Although INTJs appear to have thick skin, they can be greatly affected by criticism or discouraging circumstances. You are extremely lucky if you have friends who encourage you towards your goal and push you to work enough that your dreams come true. This is exactly what this personality type wants in a friendship. INTJs are extremely ambitious, and they want to improve themselves in every possible way. And one of the key steps in improving yourself is encouragement. You're the closest and the most vulnerable in front of your friends, so it's common knowledge that their encouragement, love, and support work better than almost anything else. Remember that one of the most easiest and genuine ways to show your love is by understanding, supporting, and encouraging your friends towards their dreams, especially when your friend is as ambitious and as hardworking as an INTJ. In the runner-up spot today is INTJs need respect. Every friendship has a certain red line that you are not allowed to cross in any circumstance. Some people are extremely sensitive and protective about their appearance. Some don't want to hear a word against their choices, while others are extremely conscious about their respect and boundaries. INTJs despise it when people discard their ideas, neglect their advice, cut them off in conversations, or dismiss them as irrelevant. Furthermore, you should never discuss private topics or degrade or criticize an INTJ in front of others. Remember that if you have an INTJ friend, make sure that you do not mess around or disrespect them. Calling them names and then trying to put it off as a joke will never work on them. An INTJ never lets stuff like that slide. They treasure their respect like nothing else. Topping our list and the number one thing an INTJ must have in a friendship is loyalty and trust. Loyalty and trust. Who doesn't want that in a friendship? Everyone does, but very few people want that as bad as an INTJ personality type does. They're extremely hesitant when it comes to trusting other people and letting them in their inner circle. If an INTJ is being vulnerable in front of you, you should consider that a privilege and an honor. That is extremely rare and shows that they consider you very close and have put a great deal of effort into trusting you and letting down their defenses. The INTJ personality type prefers a close and small circle. You will not find them hanging around with just anybody. If they talk to you, if they share their personal thoughts and feelings with you, remember that they are putting a lot of effort and are coming out of their comfort zone. I do realize that these aren't the only qualities that INTJs want in a friendship, so please let me know if there's anything else you'd add to this list. I hope these 9 points help you form stronger bonds with the INTJs in your life. You've got this, now go get it done. Grab yourself some more brain food to help you level up your life and click on one of the videos on your screen right now.